YouTube, YouTube, you know the model. If you can, go over there, hit me with a like, which is the thumbs up, and that'll let me know I'm sending my stuff. This one right here, one of the viewers asked me about catching crips inside our hood. I guess if they was visiting or just got caught slipping. Can I recount a few uh, encounters? So, so I might mix up a couple of them inside this one. One incident, homie. This one, this one, this is like a early '90s, maybe, maybe, maybe '90, 90, '91 era or something. And I remember being on on a uh, high park. With my auntie, we was hustling. And uh, so we wound up getting in the car. She like, make this run with me. So I wound up getting in the car with her. And we ride through the neighborhood. So we shoot up Hyde Park. Make a ride, I think, go up Glen Way. Then wind up uh, turning down another street. Then coming around and, and then wind up making the left. Going up Venice Way inside the hood so when we get up when we going up in this way it's like an apartment building a gray apartment building and it's like a big complex like kind of like not in the center but close to the center of the block with a lot of apartments inside that one big complex so i remember seeing the big homeboy don l he out there homie and, and he firing on a nigga so I'm like, damn, I tell my auntie, stop. So I jump out the car. I'm like, what's up? What's up with this nigga, big homie? He like, this nigga got an ear rag, homie. This nigga had an ear rag on him. And it was some broad out there hollering and shit. I guess she wind up, he wind up visiting her or they falling out. But I didn't know an ear rag at that time was a, was a blue cloth rag bandana. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got an ear rag on him. That nigga, the bra screaming. So the homie like, that nigga got it. So I'm like, damn, what is that? So I later found out that was a blue rag. So we, so I jump out. So we beating up on this dude, dude trying to squabble. But, you know, he, he out handled, homie. So we wind up mixing, dude, homie. So the big homeboy, I think he fuck around and break his hand or fuck his hand up. I fucked mines up. People got to hollering and screaming about calling the police. So, bam, we wind up, everybody, I jumped in the car with my auntie cut out and the homeboy cut out, the big homeboy cut out. Another moment, homie, we on uh, eucalyptus in my turf, homie. And and for some reason, homie, Compton, them Compton Crip niggas, they used to like to come through our turf a little bit, homie. We used to get a few of them dudes, maybe from Santana and, and little spots like that, but them Compton Crips, they kind of had a thing with, you know, visiting females inside of our turf in the Inglewood neighborhood, Paul Rules inside of Inglewood. So anyway, I remember the homies, we, we was on bail patrol, I guess, coming from the port or going to the port. And something happened because we, we see these rip dudes. I don't know if they pulled up. and uh, uh, Some homie, they pulled up going in. I don't know if they gave us that energy like that, but uh, we pushed on them. And I remember we threw a brick at them fools, homie. Fools got the bus and all this. Baka, 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 baka. So we spread out. We spread out, homie. So they cut up in the building. Homie spread out. They cut up in the building. However it go, they car still out there. Niggas is waiting. We like, man, what's happening with these niggas, man? You know what I'm saying? And that once again, that's another big complex on eucalyptus that we had in our hood, homie. So hoods with these apartments, homie, it'd be a lot of ground to cover than house hoods, you know, hoods with houses. When you in the side of a hood community with apartments, homie, sometimes it'd be a lot of coverage, a lot of footwork, slipization through different sides coming through there, homie. So anyway, we waiting on these dudes, homie, and back in the days, homies would do burn shit. So time going on time, we'd do burn shit like air a motherfucker car out. So it was taking so too long for these dudes to come out after hours because we had a little spot 
on the corner spot of that block. So we was able to kind of peek and see if that car was moving or what. So uh, we wind up airing off the car back in the day. Dudes would do stuff like that. If they couldn't really catch you, dudes would shoot your car up and shit like that. So we wind up airing later on that night. The homies wind up airing out that car. Boom, 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 boom. Just to let them know. You come to the hood, homie, and you disrespect, you're going to have a problem. Dudes will do that, brother, if they shot you, hurt you or not. We'll send little symbolic messages through this street shit that we once lived, homie. And uh, another another incident is uh, we, caught some, we caught some crips in the hood one time, homie. And... Uh, I don't know. This was this was in, this was matter of fact. This was this was in the, this was going into like in the eighty nine maybe ninety. Can't really mix them days up, homie. But I know the OG homeboy Big Cleto BSV BIP. He was alive, homie, and he was in our turf. You know what I'm saying? That was like you know he helped. You know helped the, the strength develop around there in the turf. So he had hands-on over there in our turf inside the Inglewood neighborhood of Power Rules, hands-on with homies in our development with this gangster shit. So I remember he I remember he fresh out, I guess he was fresh out. He had the perm G'd up and everything. It's about four young homeboys. We sitting on the porch inside the 500 block building. And uh, we just listening to these war stories he's sending and this gangster messages that he's sending to us, homie, how to be soldiered up. So dudes that hustle, that was fresh out sometime, they'll stash their product or whatever they was hustling in, in behind the buildings, you know, behind in parking stalls and in behind buildings. So I guess the OG homeboy Cleto, he go to the apartment building, back at the apartment building to go do his thing. But now remind you in these apartment buildings that was in the building parking structure behind us, you can look up and see a apartment building. They had balconies, homie. And I remember some dudes was up there like, yeah, cuz, yeah, cuz, just chilling, lounging and having a good ass time, homie. And uh the OG homeboy came back, did what he had to do. And he pulled all four of us and walked us back to the back of the building. So we all got to listening to these dudes' conversation up there, having a good time, saying they words, yeah, cuz, yeah, cuz, this, that, and this. So bam, he take he we walked back into the back of the building. So we young, we like, damn, these dudes over here, it's really going down like that. So he like. I'm going to show y'all an OG tactic how to scare dudes up out the hood, homie. You know what I'm saying? So he he asked, does anybody out here pop the, pop the thing yet? So we all like real, like real young teens. So, you know, nobody was like, nah, ain't nobody really got cracking like that. So I remember one of the young homeboys, he ain't here no more. He was like, he was like, I, you know, I get down. So I remember he had like a 22 and he went back there and uh, the OG homeboy, Big Cleto BRP, he said, dump, he, he said, dump that thing in the air. Homie gave it all. It was like a 22 with probably like 10 shots in there with a 22 long with it. It was like a, looked at like a nine, but it had a long clip in there. He get all, dop, 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 Had the fools ducking and everything. He didn't pop nothing. The, the young homie didn't pop nothing. He just popped in the air and scared them fools off the balcony. And just by them knowing they was in, 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 in a bad zone, homie, probably shook them dudes up. But then was just little tactics and moves of little, uh, uh, how we moved and when we caught, you know what I'm saying, ops at that time inside our community, homie. You know what I'm saying, 89 on up kicking G stuff, naive stuff, and we just sending it, homie, we just sending it, I'm out.